Now to the bombshell revelation today in the case of a Fort Worth police chase that ended with the death of an uninvolved driver. Some new court documents show at least one officer could face criminal charges. Our I team has spent months digging into this particular case, this issue, and Ginger Allen is now telling us what they've uncovered. This entire incident has been shrouded in secrecy from the start, with the city fighting every open records request we have filed about the chase and the crash. But today's news comes as the city fights with the family of the driver who died. It started last July, south of downtown Fort Worth. Police were chasing a car that had been reported stolen. That car made it through the intersection of Rosedale and Evans, but a police cruiser collided with an SUV driven by Andre Craig, killing the 57 year old. Weeks later, the department released a heavily redacted report of the incident. It showed the chase lasted two miles, reaching speeds up to 100 miles an hour on a road where the speed limit is 30. Craig's family maintains that he had the green light, something police have refused to address. In the eight months since that day, the department has remained largely silent. But now, a civil lawsuit filed by Craig's family is revealing new details. In a recent filing, the city's attorneys say the police department is, quote, conducting a criminal investigation to determine whether the involved officer acted negligently or reckless, adding that, quote, it will be the exact question the city will present to a Tarrant County grand jury. There's no, no question that, that this officer acted negligent as well as uh, reckless. Attorney Daryl Washington represents the Craig family. The I-team learned about this criminal investigation in documents. Is this how you learned also and the family learned? This is exactly how we learned. I don't think uh, the family should ever learn these type of things uh, at the same time that the public's learning this. This is something that I think the city of Fort Worth could have reached out to the family and, and let the family know, listen, we are conducting an investigation. Uh, we're going to get some answers for you all. That would have been the proper manner in which to handle this. And, you know, thus far, uh, nothing about this case has been handled properly. In the filing, the city says it is being forced into a, quote, conundrum, investigating the officer for criminal charges while also defending the officer's actions in a civil lawsuit. That's why city attorneys are asking to delay the family suit for six months. Criminal attorney Jeremy Rosenthal, who is not involved in the case, says the city is in a tricky position. I think you could also say that they've, they've filed a motion to have their cake and eat it too. Um, there's certainly nothing barring them from just settling the case now, uh, but they want to hold on uh, and I think they want to see what happens uh, through the criminal investigation. Fort Worth PD told us today, quote, the investigation into the officer is completed and, quote, is currently undergoing the final review and approval and will be handed over to the DA's office in short order. The timing of the presentation to a grand jury will be up to the DA. Meanwhile, the man accused of driving the stolen car in that pursuit had his first day in court yesterday. 19-year-old Brian Hunter is charged in Craig's death. He is currently out on bond. Doug Nicole, there is another big question in all of this, and that's did the officer who has not been identified violate the department's pursuit policy? The department has never answered that one for us. It has even taken the Texas AG to court to prevent releasing of its policy to the I-team. Though this criminal case we just learned about today would certainly raise questions that that policy was not followed.